So I'm going to show you an example of how to set up a delay in a C program on Windows or on Unix. Um, and the reason you might want to do this is for debugging. When you want to watch a program execute uh, step by step, but you don't want to have to sit there and step through it, or you don't have a good uh, debugging platform. So this is particularly useful if you're running a microcontroller like an Arduino when you don't have a particularly um, convenient debugging solution. So you can just add a delay. Like right here I'm working with a TFT screen and um, I was having some trouble with a flicker. So while I was developing this, um, and this is just a tiny snippet of my code, but um, this is for a heads up display. But while I was working on this, I, I found it really useful to add a delay so I could look and see what the screen looked like between commands and um, or between instructions and see what effect each instruction had on the screen and that way once it was operating at full refresh rate um, I could I had a little bit more insight on what the final result would be so on an Arduino you just enter delay and then some value in milliseconds so this is one second delay because uh, it's a thousand milliseconds and it's standard metric prefixes all that stuff uh, you get it um, and a full second was plenty for me to completely understand what was going on. Um, so that was really helpful in this application. And uh, that's probably the only time you'll use it is when you're working with a microcontroller like the Arduino. So there, if you're working with an Arduino, tutorial over. But if you're too lazy to use a debugger or something and you want to add a delay in your program, this is how you would do it in Windows. So this is a countdown program. That's pretty much the easiest thing besides Hello World. I highly recommend it if you're learning C because you'll actually learn something. You have to decrement variables and there's a little bit of a decision tree in here whether you want to reinitialize or not. Um, so here's just the plain version of the program. It's countdown, enter a positive integer, 45. It counts down from 45 to zero and then it prompts you to do it again or not. So I'm going to say no, I don't want to do it again right now. And let's add a delay to this so we can actually watch the program countdown. It doesn't do it instantly. So um, on Unix, you're going to hash include and then um, it's unistd.h and then the command is usleep, all lowercase and then a value in milliseconds, so a thousand. That would be a one second delay on Unix. So you would save this, compile it, and all that. But since we're on Windows, and Windows has to be different, the command is sleep with a capital S, just because, and then uh, the header file is windows.h. Yeah. So we'll save this, and we will compile it, and see how it works. Yeah, we're going to call this one countdown delay. We run that. And let's see what happens this time. Oh yeah, so we got a full one second delay before it prints the next integer. So in the case of my heads up display uh, LCD application or TFT application, this helped me a lot because I was able to watch the screen and carefully analyze what was happening between each instruction and I ended up uh, just instead of clearing the screen I printed a black version of whatever value was previously on the screen so it blanked out the screen basically and then I could go back with another white integer and print that on the screen it was a, a really fast way of updating the screen rather than completely clearing it so it can come in handy in some pretty unexpected ways and I hope it helps you out thank you